If you have tried to remove echo and reverb in your audio, but you haven't really managed to do so, this video is for you. Now, I made a similar video last year. However, that plugin that I was suggesting, suddenly everything just changed. Because when I made the video, the plugin was available for both Mac and Windows. And suddenly, for unknown reasons, they removed the Windows version. Furthermore, you could buy that plugin as a standalone plugin for about $99, I think it was. And then suddenly, they also changed that. And now, you have to pay the whole audio suite for $599. Now, that is something that I wouldn't buy and it's something that I wouldn't recommend on this channel. So I searched the internet for alternatives for both Windows and Mac and I have found the following. Now before we listen to the first plugin, uh, let's have a listen to the original audio and it's the same audio as I used in the first video because I think it's very interesting to see how well these plugins perform on the exact same clip. So let's have a listen to the original recording. If you're using still text or PowerPoint slides in your videos like this guy, your viewers will not be very impressed. A lot of echo, I filmed that in my living room, the microphone was uh, equally as close as it is now. It's this far away from my mouth. So let's put on the Clarity VXD Reverb, which is available for both Mac and Windows. And I'm going to put a link to all of these plugins in the description below. Let's have a listen. If you're using still text or PowerPoint slides in your videos like this guy, your viewers will not be very impressed. Echo gone. Very good results. Uh, as you can see here, the user interface is very intuitive. You just turn the knob a bit lower or higher depending on how much of the echo you want to remove. And furthermore, you have the option of pressing uh, if it's dialogue, someone talking, or even if it is someone singing. Great, so this plugin is available on waves.com. When I made this video, there was an offer for about $36. Okay, so now it's $39.99, still a good price, and the original price is $99, so check out the link below to see if the offer is still valid. On uh, waves.com you also have the option to subscribe, so that you pay like a monthly fee, and then you have uh, all of the plugins available from their site, and you have a one week free trial if you wish to test the plugins out. Now the next plugin is available only for Mac, and it's called DRoom2, let's have a listen. If you're using still text or PowerPoint slides in your videos like this guy, your viewers will not be very impressed. Again, fantastic results. The echo is gone. I also like the user interface on this one where you have the sensitivity and how much of the echo you actually want to remove. So maybe you want to still hear a little bit so that it doesn't become very artificial. Speaking of artificial, let's have a listen to the original Crumple Pop echo remover that I talked about in the first video. Um, let's have a listen. If you're using still text or PowerPoint slides in your videos like this guy, your viewers will not be very impressed. Hmm. I mean, that one was $99, now it's $5.99 in the whole audio suite. I think the user interface is a little bit dated compared to the other ones, which are newer plugins. Furthermore, it's not as intuitive dryness, body, tone in this video. I wanted to make sure that it's basically a plugin that you can uh, install and start using straight away without having to think about anything else apart from that your audio has now been fixed. Oh, one last thing that if you have DaVinci Resolve, the studio version, so the paid version, you do have the uh, voice isolation. Let's have a quick listen. If you're using still text or PowerPoint slides in your videos like this guy, your viewers will not be very impressed. And you can see that does a great job as well. Now, of course, the studio version is $299. So if you don't need more than one plugin, I would not buy the whole suite just for the voice isolation. If you operate to the DaVinci Resolve Studio, just make sure that you're gonna use a lot of other features included in the studio version. But anywho, that's it. Links are in the description. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.